Hi, my name is Victoria from Hotwire Foam Factory and today we are going to do 3D pattern design and sculpting. First, we took a line drawing from a coloring page. We did a Halloween cat today. What we did was we took and decided what things we needed to do to take this flat design into a 3D shape. So first we decided what we need to do is cut out the body portion. So we outlined that separately. Then we figured once we got our cat going, the legs would need some girth. So we did an outline of just the legs and turned those into a piece of the pattern. Then we took the body portion without the tail and did just the outline with an ear and the body and the legs. And all of those layered out into our pattern. We took those and put them in the computer and laid out our pattern design. I printed this in poster form. So we have our cat body, which is our center with our girth we have our outside of our cat, and then the extra little fat for our cat legs. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it out. I started out, I pre-cut a piece here. Now these were cut with one inch foam in mind. Most people don't have one inch foam, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to cut down a piece of one inch into half inch foam to get a little thinner. Put just a little bit of glue on the pattern piece just to help stay in place. I used our Styrogoo Instant Tack Quick Cure glue. It doesn't expand, it dries nice and clear. I'm gonna cut this out first with our three inch precision hot knife. Gonna plug it into our deluxe pro variable power supply, turn it on. Make sure the switch is turned to our craft power. Turn on my knife. We're just going to cut right along the pattern line here. Once we get this cut out, we're going to use our scroll table and our fence guide to cut this down to two pieces of half inch foam cat leg. Okay, so we're just gonna run this along the fence.
Now this is our original scroll table with our traveling fence and fence guide on it. Now once you have all your cat parts cut out, you're going to glue them all together. See we have our legs, our main cat body, and then our outside body. So you can see how the design is sliced up. Now we're not going to put glue on the tail as it is not on any of the other pieces. We'll take it, put it down here, line it up, smooth the glue out so it spreads a bit. And as you can see, it's an instant tack. It doesn't slide, it doesn't move. We continue on with our legs. And here's our completed glued cat over here. You can also get a little creative. We took and removed the tail and flipped it upside down and gave the cat a whole new look. So once you have your cat all glued together, you're going to decide where you want to sculpt. You can take a pen and draw lines to where you'd like your pieces to be. I'd like to slim down my face so I've taken and drew lines where I'm going to want to carve down my face. You might want to carve your tail to be a thinner tail. So you'd go ahead and draw and give yourself a little idea of where to follow. You can do that with your legs as well. I like to start my sculpting with our sculpting tool. I use the precision craft wire. I like to be able to do more fine detail work. You wrap it around the slot, you insert your tensioner, make sure the holes are lined up on the nuts on the back, not the screws. Then you take and ride across, put it through the slot, Loop it around. Make sure the tail of the wire is not going to interfere in your cutting space. And you're good to go. Make sure your switch is over to the craft side if you're using the Deluxe Pro variable. If you're using the Pro variable, just go ahead and put it into the craft jack. I'm going to adjust my heat down a little bit so I can do more precise slices. The lower the heat, the more precise the slice, the less sanding you'll have to do in the end. You can go very, very thin with the precision craft wire. Now as you get sculpting a little more, you see the cat starting to take shape. Now what you're gonna try to do is get rid of the flat edges as much as you can. Just keep on sculpting down 
You can give your cat a little bit of a Halloween tail. Now the more you can sculpt away, the less you're gonna to have to sand in the end. And you see it's starting to get a nice round shape. Now you can also take your freehand router, switch over to your ProJack. can do little internal sculpts. Give the paw a little more contour. You can also loop around. Shape that wire any way you want. And take away a nice round piece. Give your leg a little more dimension. Come around the back with it. You can even use the precision engraving tool. Switch back to that craft power. And you'd engrave in some details into the face. You can engrave in the nose. And get the details for the mouth. Go in and hollow out into the, uh, the ears. Now once you're done with all your sculpting, you can take some sandpaper, either the sponge block, some flat sandpaper. Don't forget your mask. Try to go one direction so you don't take as many chunks out. Use the finer piece to get into more crease areas. And your cat's really starting to take some shape. When you're done sanding, you can put some hard coat on your kitty, sit him outside, give him a paint job, and you're all good to go for Halloween or any time of year. Thank you so much for joining us here with Hotware Foam Factory. Once again, my name's Victoria. Enjoyed spending this time with you. Make sure when you do your sculptures, post them on our Facebook and Instagram page and tag Hot Wire Foam Factory. Thank you so much.